Joining us by Skype, the mayor of St. Paul this morning, Melvin Carter. And mayor, you saw Mayor Fry pressed on that question in the early morning hours. St. Paul has had fires and violence. What is the plan there with the state capitol, the governor's residence, other places that certainly could be targets? Yeah, thanks for having me on this morning. Obviously, we've had a really rough last 24 hours in St. Paul, uh, in Minneapolis, uh, across the country over the last couple of days uh, as we continue to address uh, all of the anger, the rage, the understandable anger and rage uh, around George Floyd's uh, killing. Uh, we are executing our plan here in St. Paul. Uh, our police officers, firefighters, first responders uh, worked hard all through the night, all through the day yesterday uh, to help address uh, the, the, the groups that we're seeing. And I want to be really clear, we're seeing uh, uh, two separate groups. We're seeing protesters uh, who want to peacefully voice uh, their opinions uh, and their anger around uh, George Floyd's killing. Uh, but then we're also seeing a group of uh, folks who are out to try to use George Floyd's killing and use George Floyd's name uh, for a set of just unacceptable activities uh, that further victimize the very communities who have already been traumatized by that killing. Yeah, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you make that distinction, Mayor, because I think it's important to note that there are, uh, you know, it's not like this is one unified action here. There That's are right. people who really want their voices heard and deserve to have their voices heard. That's exactly right. You know, I grew up in this community. I've been involved with the, with the, the fight uh, for better relationships between police officers and community members for a really long time. Uh, we've made a lot of ground in that fight in St. Paul, uh, and a lot of that has been set back by this video. Uh, but I'll tell you, we've heard the family of Mr. Floyd stand up and say, if you want to honor his memory, do it peacefully. Uh, we've seen a lot of our uh, community activists who have been involved in this movement for, since day one who have said, like, listen, there's better ways for us to do this. Destroying these neighborhoods does not honor his legacy. It doesn't help the cause. It doesn't build the better future that we all know uh, that we have to be demanding right now. Were you caught off guard by the activity that happened around the Target in the Midway area yesterday and some of the other businesses near Allianz Field? Uh, I think we knew that the anger that uh, existed uh, in Minneapolis uh, wasn't contained in Minneapolis. Uh, it exists across the country right now, as we've seen uh, similar protests uh, around in cities across the country. Uh, we knew that there was a possibility for something like that. Uh, I'll say uh, in my career, and my chief of police uh, kept saying yesterday, Chief Axtell, that in his career, he's never seen anything of the magnitude uh, that we uh, ended up responding to yesterday. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a really very appreciative for our first responders, uh, for our firefighters who uh, were chasing problems all day, all night uh, yesterday, uh, who helped us for the most part try to keep a keep a, a lid on some of those fires that we saw. Uh, our police officers who uh, had the dual job of protecting the right to peacefully protest for those who wanted to peacefully protest uh, while maintaining our basic life, health, and safety standards uh, in our city. Uh, and doing so with uh, with uh, uh, an incredible amount of uh, restraint and discipline uh, that we that we expect from our St. Paul officers. Chief May Axel always asks the three questions: uh, Was it reasonable? Was it necessary? Was it done with respect? Uh, that's the standard we hold ourselves to every day in St. Paul. Mayor, not that we have any reason to think that this would happen, but if uh, people should try to storm a St. Paul police precinct, for example, is there a plan in place there? Would you retreat like we saw in Minneapolis? You know, I, I, I don't want to try to speculate, uh, and I definitely don't want to make any, cast any judgments on uh, what happened in Minneapolis because every situation would absolutely be different. Uh, hopefully, we won't have to cross that, cross, cross that bridge here in St. Paul. It's a tricky balance, right? Because I think all of the trend and all of the best practices in law enforcement when it comes to protests has been to minimize the appearance, the visual appearance of police officers in heavy gear and all of that and try to let people have their say and uh, uh, let their voices be heard. But at the same time, I think now you have concern of business owners and neighbors about, about keeping their homes and their businesses and their property safe. Yeah, we don't actually see that as a contradiction. I'll tell you, the protesters, uh, the people who uh, wake up every morning uh, with their just heart on fire uh, for a better world, for, with their heart on fire to make sure that we never have to watch a disturbing, disgusting video uh, like the one we woke up to on Tuesday. The protesters, uh, the, the folks who I know uh, who have been in the Black Lives Matter movement for uh, since, it, since the beginning, uh, who have been on the front lines of this after Philando Castile was killed, after Jamara was killed, 
uh, th those people uh, are equally disgusted. Uh, these are the grocery stores that our, our families look to for food. Uh, these are the, the, the pharmacies that our, 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 our senior citizens need their life-saving medicine from. The places where uh, our low-income families go for employment, uh, the, the, the neighborhood barbershops where, 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 my, where me and my friends go to get our haircuts. Right. And so this level of devastation in our community, and particularly as we talk about University Avenue, uh, as you know, yeah. uh, that's one of our larger strips of uh, international, immigrants-owned, family-owned businesses. Uh, to, to, to destroy that uh, serves no broader purpose. Yeah. We love St. Paul, Mayor. We're glad that uh, uh, things this morning seem calm, and we hope it stays that way all day. Thank you very much. I appreciate your, your coverage. Melvin Carter with us live this morning. Heather?